It's Software Sunday, and I'm talking about a website. Let's go. Alright guys, how's it going? Now, this is going to be a pretty quick video, to be honest. Every Sunday I try and review some sort of software, or some sort of website, that can hopefully help you improve in terms of being an artist. Now, today, this is one of these ones I stumbled across. Now, the internet's pretty damn big, to be honest, so it's pretty easy to get lost in the, the noise of the internet. But this is called Undesign, or UN Design, depending on how you like to pronounce it. And it's just got a lot of really nice tools and resources, and I'll just quickly go over some of them, to be honest. I won't cover every single feature, because there's quite a lot. And there's a good chance you'll probably just go to the description and click the link and close the video. Anyway, let's start it off. So, as you can see here, it basically categorises everything in terms of resources. So you have inspiration, colours, gradients, ideal. Now, one thing is, it is mainly focused towards Photoshop artists. Uh, there is a few 3D things, but there is a few things that I do like using. Um, one of them is the UI gradients, and this is great for quickly generating gradients. You can download them, you can tweak them, you can mess about. And it's pretty much how i done the banner for the YouTube logo. So that is a really nice website, to be honest. Another website that it resources is Radlines. Now, this one is pretty cool. You can randomise lines, and one of the features is it lets you actually export out as an SVG. So obviously, you can take this into Blender or whatever application, and you can start to mess around. And it's quite good because you can add things like formulas. So if you're quite scientific, which I'm not, you can get some really nice results. So that's another thing that's referenced. Another one is BG Jar, free SVG background generator for your websites. And this is pretty cool to be honest. Uh, so let's say, for example, you want to do something like a stacked wave, you can go to customize, you can set up the resolution in terms of the file output, and you can play around with the waves. And obviously you have things like you can control the gradient, you can control the colors. It is a very nice generator to be honest and that has a lot of options so that's another one another one is when you go to mock-ups you know how you see a lot of these photoshop mock-ups or maybe even product mock-ups or you get the billboards or the photo frames with the renders in the background a lot of people use mock-ups graphics burgers brilliant uh, pixel buddha is another one it's just a very good resource in terms of kind of curating a list and another one is audio. Now, a lot of people ask, where do you get your audio from? Obviously, you've got the YouTube audio library, so you won't actually get hit with a copyright strike. You have free music archive, you have Ben Sounds, that's a pretty popular one. And you have a whole bunch here, to be honest. So some of the other features here is icons. I use icons all the time when I'm generating websites for clients, so it does come in handy. Another great one, obviously, is things like typography. So it just basically lists sites that give you free fonts, like the fonts, a pretty popular one as well. Colour font, stuff like this. Some of the serverless stuff and the API stuff is pretty cool. Trends is good as well. And it's just a really nice website. And that's undesign.learn.uno. Strange URL, but it is a good resource. Anyway, have a nice Sunday. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me to Twitter. Support me in Gumroad. You know what to do. Take care.